So what is PHP? PHP allows web developers to create dynamic websites that interact with databases. PHP is over 10 years old and really filled the need for creating web pages that can change instantly or at any time for a truly dynamic experience. Prior to PHP, the web world was stuck using the very slow and limited CGI technology. PHP stands for PHP Hypertext Preprocessor. It's really a strange acronym because PHP is the first word in this acronym. It's sort of a programmer's joke. Hypertext Preprocessor sort of says it all to me. Hypertext, as in HTML or Hypertext Markup Language, and Preprocessor because PHP processes the code before it's sent to the browser. Preprocessing. If you want to know more about the name, then visit php.net and check out the FAQ, the Frequently Asked Questions. PHP is a scripting language, and it's also a programming language, and it's very C-like. Programming languages and scripting languages are really just the same thing. Scripting languages are more common to working with web servers instead of programming applications that you create to run outside of the browser on your computer. Programming languages require an advanced set of features built into the language. Because it's a programming language and a scripting language, you get the best of both worlds. You can do a lot of different things with it. PHP offers a web developer more freedom and choices with a higher level of detail. It's free and it's open source, meaning that you can just download it and use it. There's certain licenses, of course, and it's really something of a marvel that it's grown to the level that it has today, and it's definitely because it's an open source solution, so it, it is modified a lot, and there are different versions that you can use. So you can grab that source code and compile the language itself and also learn from it. Open source means that the source code for a particular project is freely available to the public to use and modify, whereas a proprietary system like Microsoft Word is closed source. You can't see the source code unless a particular company wants you to see it. PHP is fast, open, and stable, but importantly here, it's cross-platform. You can use a Linux production server, a Windows development server, a Mac testing server, whatever you'd like, and you're going to be able to use PHP the same across the platforms. It's extremely cross-platform. No compilation. When you compile a program or application, you take the source code and you process the files into a special format that is optimized. The PHP language is, by nature, optimized very well so it is fast and doesn't need to be compiled so it's easy to edit your code. Compiling code is an extra step that really slows down development. An example for all you Flash users out there would be when you take your FLA file and compile it or process it into a Swift file that you can preview in a browser. PHP doesn't need to do that because you can use the code right away on the web server. You just put your scripts into the folder and they're going to be parsed and executed on the server side, on that web server, and then the browser, your users, they're going to see the results in instant time it's also easy to learn the language itself and use the language, but it's also extremely powerful. PHP code is added right to normal web pages, so there's no need for a special development environment or editor. There are many different editors available, and PHP has been designed to specifically take advantage of your web server features as it was intended to be used. It is not just a language that was forced into web development. It was designed to specifically process web pages, and that makes it easier to develop web sites. You're not alone. PHP is all about community. You're going to be able to download open source solutions, extend them, learn from them, and there's a lot of sharing going on. We'll be taking a look at a great open source PHP application, PHP MyAdmin. I really think it's one of the strongest sharing communities that are out there. It's drawing back a little bit only because the other communities are a little bit less open than PHP. They're trying to catch up to PHP, and I think PHP is moving a little bit towards the commercial realm, which is good. So you don't need everything free. You definitely can have 
solutions that you can purchase that aren't necessarily free written in the PHP language. And you want to check out Zend.com for some interesting products on working with PHP and protecting your source code and things like that. It's a joy to write PHP scripts and using arrays and strings and all these things that other languages have a problem with. PHP really excels in that area. It's also object oriented. So that's a bonus. Everything is moving towards object oriented programming and PHP has extended itself in PHP 5 to do even more object oriented type programming. But I'm not going to go into great detail in this essential training tutorial. Once you understand the fundamentals of PHP, you will then be ready to move on to more complex things like object oriented programming. PHP is a lot to learn. So do take things slowly. And also you can and should watch individual movies multiple times as needed. So that is the basic explanation of PHP. And now we'll move on to understanding the way PHP works.